Okay, so let's quickly calculate the volume. Um, make sure that, g given the width, so just make sure, again, you have the temperature values in this Excel sheet, and you at least have the width values here in the sheet. And then go ahead and make a column titled height, and the height is 10 E negative 9. It'll change it to scientific notation for you, normalize. And the depth is 3.5 E negative 9. And then we'll calculate the volume. So first thing, grab the height and highlight over the, or I'm sorry, click this entry for height and then highlight over the bottom right corner of the entry cell and it'll change to this black crosshair. And then click, drag, hold all, all uh, click, drag, hold all the way down into row seven and it'll auto fill with the height all the way down and do the same thing for the depth. And then what we'll do in this column is we'll use these heights and these depths and the widths to calculate the volumes automatically. So go to a column, title it volume, and in the cell underneath that, click the equal sign, grab the width entry, and then go shift number eight to get the asterisk. Click this, the height entry, and then shift number eight for the asterisk and then the depth entry. Click equals, and then that calculates the volume for you. Click, drag, hold all the way down. Make sure that you have these black crosshairs up, and it automatically calculates the volume given each corresponding row. It's a very nice feature. Now you'll do the same thing like you did before. Insert chart, scatter chart. You'll make a volume versus temperature graph. Title your axes, make sure you have the um, units labeled, insert your line of best fit, display the equation on chart, and then paste this into the Word document.